Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen the introduction of the Angular test bed and what is an Angular test bed and what why we need to use this Angular test bed. We have seen right now. Let's try to implement this Angular test bed in our post component, single post component. In this single post component, we have seen how to use this event emitter. So how to use this event emitter? So this event emitter. How to how to use this one? So how when we can say that uh, when the on delete post is uh, method is called so whether this delete event is emitting or not we have tested it but now right now what we'll try to do is we'll try to test it using this angular test bit first let's try to see so what i will try to do is the first test case i will try to check it should create create post component using test bit okay so this is the thing now the component we need to create using the test bed so here we have seen how to create the post component so like this instance we have seen it right with the test bed also we can create like this instance so let's try to see it so first in order to create the test bed uh, com test bed so what we need to do we need to configure the module so let's try to configure the module test bed dot configure configure testing module okay configure testing module here <coughs> So first we are trying to create a component. So now we need to uh, create the component. We need to we need to test the component along with its template. So we don't want to test the component only the class file. So we need to test the component along with its template. So for that reason, what we need to do, we need to add the component in the declarations. Okay. So here the component what we are trying to do is the post component. That's it. So the component does does the post component has any dependencies? We don't have any dependencies. So let's leave. Uh, let's try to add this one only. So there is no need to add the imports and all those things, browser module and all those things. There is no need to add it. Why? Because so what I can say is automatically this uh, test bed will be automatically it will be configured by default this browser module and all those things. Now so we have created test bed. Now let's try to add the fixture. So let's try to create a fixture. So here so creating the fixture. So what you will get? So fixture is equal to test bed test bed dot create component we will be using this create component and we need to pass the component for which co for which com which component you are going to create so post component whenever you create you create a, whenever you use this method create component in the test bed automatically this will return a texture uh, component fixture okay so this returns the component fixture now here we have the component fixture so now in order to access the component instance what is the thing you will be try to do is so here component is equal to fixture fixture dot it contains the combination of both the things component instance okay so we got the component instance now let's try to see expect component whether it is defined or not dot to be defined so i am checking that it is whether it is defined or not that's it so now we have created a configuration testing module and here we have created the component so that we got the fixture now in order to access the component instance so we have created a component instance now you can access all the methods so see delete on delete post post everything you can access this one so let's try to see so if you try to see the code here in the post component here see you will be able to see that test has been passed should create a post component using test bit so it has been passed now so in this one we are trying to use this one right new post component and all those things so let's try to use the same concept so here let's try to use the same test bed dot configure test module so here i have used this configure dot test module instead of creating new post like that so now in order to we now we need to get the component so in order to get the component how we can get so we can use this constant component like this okay so we have used the same thing now let's try to execute the output if i try to execute the output okay sorry and here we are able to get the output so should raise an event and everything is getting executed without any problem now what i will try to do is so here the test bed we have created okay the test bed what we have created so we have duplicated the component so what we can do here so we can divide that one we can we can divide this we can we can make this code in the before each method so now what we can do let's implement the before each before each and here i will try to write so let's try to copy this all component up to component okay 
So here I want to component and I can remove this code up to here component fixture and all those things in this one also. But here, so this component should be able to use it. So what I can do here, let's create a fixture. Okay. So fixture, it is of type. So fixture is of type component fixture, right? Component fixture. Okay. And we need to pass the type of component. So here we are having the component fixture of type post component. And another one is the component. So we need to get the component that is nothing but a post component. That's it. So here we can remove this constant and we can remove this constant also. Now that's it. So now we have here in the before each we are able to write the common code and here the component it will be making use of this one and here also it will be making use of this one. That's it. So now if I try to see the output. Okay. So post component and this one also also created. So that's it. So here. This is how we will be create using the test bed. We will be creating the component. And now that next one is we need to access the component element. So we are able to access the component instance. So here component post, we are able to write the component delete and delete post. Everything we are able to access. Now we need to access the element. So how we can access the elements in the component uh, elements in the component. Let's try to see it in the next video. Hope you understood about the uh, about the declaration of the test bed and all those things. Because this is very important. Why? Because so we now onwards we will be going on using this test bed only while creating the components and all those things. So accessing the templates and uh, doing this HTTP client testing and all those things, we will be using this test bed only. So hope you understood about this test bed and all those things. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. And also this everything code is deployed in the GitHub. So if you want means you can go to my code and you can check it. So here you'll be able to see. So all the all the project code repositories are hosted here in the GitHub. So github.com slash Lilanatsima. So the code everything is provided in the description. The repository URL is provided in the description below for every video. And here the, for the project you'll be able to see the Angular unit testing. So this is the repository. And if you want to go to the particular video means a particular branch is being created so that you can go to this particular branch and you can see that particular code. So now we are doing this 18th video. So you here you will be able to see 18th video a branch and you will be able to access this one. So this is all about the um, uh, accessing how to access the code in the GitHub repository. URL. So that's it. So if you have if you have any doubts as usual, so please post the comments and also if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.